Hey, Odoors. Now that we've recruited new people, it's time to have a deeper look at their professional profiles. Our employees have a lot of different skills. One could be the star of marketing, while another is a JavaScript master. Thanks to the skills and resume features inside of Odoo, we can actually gather all of this information in the employee forms and have quick access to it with the help of the search feature. Now, finding the right person with the right skill set becomes easy by simply adding this info to our Odoo database. We're not going to lose time looking for the one person who speaks Spanish in the office or that person with the strongest CMS skills. We can simply search for the skills we need and find everyone who has them. The employees app makes that type of job fast and easy. So enough chit chat. Let's see how we can set this up inside of Stealthywood's database. All right. So here I am inside of my database, specifically looking at the employees application. So from here, we're actually going to go to configuration and settings. And from the settings page, let's make sure that we have our skills management option checked off right there. And it looks like I've already done that. So let's actually see how we can enrich an employee's profile with this feature. So we're going to go back to our employees dashboard by selecting the word employees twice. And now we're going to update an employee record. Let's pick Amanda Cortez. Now we notice that this employee has actually been created before for one of our previous videos. Now on the resume tab, you'll also notice there's already experience listed, a market research analyst position in Stealthywood. So let's add some more experience by selecting add right there is the button in the center. And we're going to fill this in with an internship for the title. And then I'm going to say that the type for this case will be experience. But I also wanted you to know that you can also create new experience types on the fly by typing directly, such as when you type in the letter E, you can create and edit that as well. I'm just going to select experience to move on. So then we have a display type. And in our case, it's going to be classic. However, if you wanted to, you can also specify certification, and it'll give you a different option as well. Let's say that this internship started in December of 2020. So we're going to select our years just so that we can do that really quickly. And we're going to say that it ended probably sometime in 2021. Not bad. Two months right there. A good internship. So if I have any more information, I can add it inside of this description field down here. So in our case, I'm just going to say they were an Odoo intern. And that's going to add the name of the company where the internship took place. So now that we're done, we can just hit save and close. And boom. Just like that, it's added. It's pretty cool. Now let's add her education because education is everything, kids. I'm going to add her experience in the resume section under education, which we have actually its own little section. So if we go over here to experience and we add it, this time around, this type is going to be education. So where did they go? We're going to pick UC Davis just because that's kind of nice school and stuff like that. We're going to pick the start dates as well. They got to make sense for us. So we're going to go a little bit back. We're going to select 2016. Uh, kids start typically in the late summer. So we're going to pick September 1st. And then we're going to say they finished in 2020. Probably just sometime in June, which makes the most sense to me. June 30th. It's good enough. All right. Now we can apply that. And it's all set there. So we also need to note her degree. So for our case, we're going to put a BA in marketing inside of the description field, just so that's what appears for us. And once we're done with that, save and close. And look at that. It's own little section. Now sectioning off these details helps keep the resume organized inside of our database, which is very helpful for the HR department. So while Amanda's experience and education is excellent, she's also a very skilled employee. And her profile should show that. So let's go ahead and create some entries under skills that we have over here on the right hand side. So we can see Amanda's current skills here on the right. One of the skill types is languages. And we can see the languages she speaks as well as her current skill level, which we have C2A2, fluent in German fully. And we also happen to know that Amanda is fluent in Spanish as well. So we should add that by selecting add over there. Make sure the skill type is languages. And over here, we're just going to start typing Spanish. Remember, I said fluent, so C2 for the level. We're going to select Save and New. Now, if I want to add a language that hasn't been input yet, you can simply type it into the skill field and click Create. And you'll see that again over here when I start typing in the letter E, and we type in a little bit more. And then if we wanted to, we can create it inside of there. But anyways, Amanda has more than just language skills, and she also has marketing skills, such as communication and public speaking. These are followed by such levels such as L1, L2, and L3 that reflect the strength of the employee's skill set in these areas. You can always create more levels by simply by typing into the skill levels field and clicking create and edit. But luckily, I have all my levels configured already. 
So let's add a marketing skill. So we're going to select the word marketing over here. And let's say that she has a skill of communication. What are we going to give her level at? We're going to give her that L4 right there. Now we're going to select save and close. And voila, great. Now that we've added this information, let's see what we can do with it. So let's say that I need to find a French speaker for one of my customers. I can actually search for employees who have French listed as a skill using the search bar back over here on our main dashboard. So let's type in the word French, and then we're going to select skills from the drop down right there. Now let's say that my customer also attended a certain school when they were younger, and I know one of my employees went there too. I can look for her in the employees app and assign this customer to her. This way, with both those things in common, they're going to be more likely to have a great connection. So we're going to type in UC Davis over here. And if you recall, we put it inside of the resume. And boom, I can easily find the employee I need for any situation. Now, what if I want to see how my entire team measures up in terms of skill level? The skills reports can help with that. If I click on reporting up here as the menu up here, and then I select the word skills, I will see a list view of all of my employees who have skills listed in their records. I can also change the report to group by department, and we can select that by clicking up here at the top, selecting group by department right there. And once that we do that, actually we wanna deselect the one that groups by employee. We can actually see that and track the skill development across each of my teams. And with all of this, we can see how the employee life cycle continues to improve through Odoo's HR apps in the next video. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Remember, it's Odoo, not Odon. So Odon, stop learning. All right, I'm going to go grab a snack.